How's it going guys? We're back for another one here. Me and my fishing buddy here getting ready to go do some catfishing. We have some uh, fresh shad we caught last night. Uh, we're coming to a new lake today. We're gonna just try it out and uh, try some new tactics. We're gonna take you guys along with us. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. We got a piece of cut shad here. So I'm gonna be doing some drift fishing, some spin fishing. I'm just gonna drop it down to the bottom of the lake here. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. If I get slack line, I'm just gonna take my rod, and reel down to it, lift up. So then I'm be about a foot off the. You know, I'm about a foot off the. Uh, bottom and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna drift by hopefully pick up some fish all right guys so what I'm doing here as you can see here, I found an old road bed. And so what I'm doing is I went on my side imaging and just and found this old road bed and it's, this lake is really fat, flat and featureless. I was just cruising out through the middle of the lake and found this raised uh, road. And so I laid a bunch of waypoints along it right here as you can see. And I'm just gonna take the troll motor and just casually kind of drift us by I got two rods suspended up here three out the back we're just drifting along see if we can't pick up a fish what do you think bud yeah. you bet yeah. <laughs> let's see if we got something here there we got him here bud you want to reel one in reel this fish in hurry before it gets off there he is Got a kid. There we go. Little old blue cat. Not really the size we're looking for, but finally. Man, it took us forever to find the fish. You wanna to touch him? Woo, he's slimy. You wanna give him a kiss? No. No. You want to catch another one? Okay. Yeah. We're getting a little bite there. I think he went on. Come reel him in. Reel him in. Reel him in. There he is. There we go. Got a kid, really, man. Get that big old fish in here, boy. He's barely hooked. Look how we hooked that fish. I mean, barely got him. Barely got him. Here you go, bud. Slimy. You want to eat this one? Oh. You do? We better take him home so we can eat him, huh? That's just about right size to eat, huh? Open up that ice chest. We'll throw him in there. Whoops. All right, so we made it home with our catfish that we caught. I'm uh, fixing to show you guys how to cut it up, clean it, and then we'll take it inside and cook it. So y'all stay tuned. Perfect eating size right there. We'll set him up on the table. Get our knife. So a sharp knife here is the key. Take it here. And as you can see right here, you can kind of see where the belly separates from the side muscle. 
And so you're going to cut along that one slip cut and you're going to kind of hug those ribs and you can kind of feel those ribs right here. So you're just going to cut along that and then onto this little back hump, just cut that right out too, follow along the back of those ribs all the way down below into the dorsal fin, get a little bit more meat there. And we'll cut right up here, cut around that fin and right down the spine. Okay. And then you just take it, run along here, and then hug that spine right down there to the end. Cut it right off. There you have a big chunk of meat there. Okay, so this next part is crucial to have a really sharp knife. So you're going to take this, cut it here, and fillet just like this. And so what I'm doing here, you can't really see, but I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch of meat there so what we're, you don't want to cut all the way to the skin especially as the fish get bigger blue cats especially but as you if you cut right against the the skin you're going to get red meat so you can see this red meat right here we don't have to worry about trimming that off because we didn't cut we didn't hug that skin as tight so when you do it this way it's a good way to get real clean fillet there you go. Nice clean fillet there. Let's do the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna pan sear these catfish fillets. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna get my skillet i'm gonna go ahead and preheat it i'm gonna get that skillet good and hot before i ever put them fillets on it also what we're gonna do we're gonna take some butter just about a tablespoon or so in there and we're just gonna let that heat on medium high heat just a second here okay so then we're gonna take cool water take our catfish fillet rinse them off real good Okay, like so, and like so. Next, I'm going to take a towel and lay these clean fillets out on this towel. And what we're going to do is dry them, bat them dry real good. I'm just going to dry them off. This will help them to get that sear that you want. Okay, good and dry. Okay, next, while that skillet's heating up, we're going to take just a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of Lowry season salt. It doesn't take too much. Salt on the other side. Lowry's on the other side. Bam! So you can see here, skillet's good and hot. You almost want that butter to start turning a little bit brown. We'll let it go just a hair longer in there. I want, it, I want it to be really hot before I put them in there. That, that gives them the sear. Okay, so our skillet's good and hot here, as you can see. That butter smell is amazing. So here we go. I'm just gonna throw this filet right on just like that. And just like that. And a good sear. Make sure you get good in that butter. And I'll let them cook for a couple minutes. Flip them over and let them sear again. And I'll be ready to eat. Okay, guys, so you want to make sure that you're cooking these, cook them good and thorough. Because if you don't get them, if you don't cook them good enough, they'll be soft and mushy on the inside. See how that's nice and seared. Nice and seared there. That's the way we want it. You want it good, you want it good and cooked all the way through. And you want it a little bit crispy on the outside, just like that. I mean, that is, that's what we're looking for right there. All right, y'all, just like that. And that's what you want to look at falling apart. You want it good and crispy. 
good and crispy there we go okay so we can take this put it on a sandwich break it up and put it in tacos or just eat it just like this that is what it's all about right there that is delicious well that's gonna do it for today's episode guys if you made it this far thanks for watching if you could do me a favor hit like hit subscribe and we'll see you guys next time